Admit it. You clicked on this because you saw Jolene's titties, didn't you? You degenerate. So if you guys remember my uh, Who Can Fist the Hardest in JoJo video, it's basically going to be this. I'm going to link that down below, though. If you haven't seen that, go watch it because it's just as retarded as this. <laughs> I'm sick, so if I sound stupid, or just a little bit more retarded than usual, that's why. Okay, let's start with part one. Obviously, we need to start with Jonathan and Dio, the two main boys of the part. You know, besides God, speedwagon, you know. We got a here, and a here, and uh, they're both pretty much the same amount of thickness, but Jonathan's got the most cake on the boys. And you got Speedwagon, who is so thick that when he pulls up his shirt, he just makes heat, and he heals Apelli's arm. You know, as Apelli's sitting there like, oh, I'm not that thick, but I died because I got cut in half, because my cake couldn't withstand some chains. Then we go into part two. We have Joseph, Caesar, and... <laughs> There's some other good examples in part two, like uh, Susie Q, who turns into a gilf in part three, Lisa Lisa, Santana, Stroheim. Stroheim's pretty thick, not gonna lie. But there's also Logs. What? Wait, you don't remember who Logs is? Uh, get fucking, uh... Like these ones! So I'd say we all know who wins for part two. Lisa Lisa. Hey, don't look at me like that. I have to give the horn dogs something. Now on to part three, where we have the main cat. We have Dia. Darby? The other Darby? Wait, I know, Iggy. Iggy, get out of here. He's still alive. <laughs> Iggy. Now we move on to part four, with the candidates being Josuke's fucking mom, Josuke, Jotaro, Angelo, stone version, and Yoshikage Kira. Josuke's mom has that, uh, you know, personality. Jotaro's fucking Jotaro. Star Platinum Zamego! Josuke is a little bit gay. He's got that, um, uh... I have nothing to lose. And then Angelo, who is so dummy thick that he's a fucking rock. You, Angelo. Angelo. Then, you know, Yoshikai Kira, who's so dummy thick that he could blow away time just with his sheer amount of mass. He collapsed in on himself like a fucking neutron star. So I think Angelo wins for that one. Now going into part five. Oh dear, we have a lot of competitors for part five, don't we? We have Giorno, Bruno, Abakio, Mista, Narancha, Trish, Diavolo, Polnareff, and Doppio. So, starting off with the beginning, Giorno, that's a pretty good start. He's so thick that Mista couldn't handle his suck. <laughs> Mist is not that thick. I mean, he if he was thick enough, he would have repelled those bullets that shot him, but he didn't on multiple occasions. Then there's Bruno, who's so thick that his thickness brought him back to life. Abakio isn't that thick because King Crimson's hand went through him. I mean, the same thing happened to Bruno, but Bruno got back up. Then there's Narancha, who, yeah. Uh, Narancha's not that thick either. He's a little on the thin side, but cake is cake. You got Trish, who, uh, titties. You got Diavolo, he's pretty thick. His thickness allows him to halt time and take a little eraser and erase the parts that he doesn't like. Kind of like, you know, uh, a journalist taking a story and just erasing the bits that they don't like to make their own weird twisted article that isn't even about the topic at hand. And then Dopio. Dopio's not thick, he's just adorable. So I think the winner in the part five is the turtle. Part six, Jolene. Are you happy? Part 7 